welcome to today's video you guys make sure y'all hit that like button make sure i hit that share button and y'all definitely hit that subscribe button y'all y'all know we're on the road to 100k we're on the road to 100k and uh yeah y'all enjoy today's video here we go Once again, what I was saying before, make sure y'all hit that like button, make sure I hit that share button. I don't know what the fuck this nigga doing right here. But yeah, we up here getting gas right now. We up here getting gas. This thing is East Gas. Yup, outside the night. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all right now. Like, I love the lights that the gas station be having. Like, this shit is, like, hella camera friendly. Like, look at these lights right here. Hella camera, hella camera friendly right now. Hella camera friendly. Yes, sir. What happened? I, 20 what? I have it. Here. Here you go. Yeah, I want to get a cookie, some cookies. You're not going to get it? No, because you only give me $4. How much you need? The cookies are a dollar something, but plus tax. Like... Well, I got quarters and shit in it. Oh, give me some quarters. Ah, shit, I gotta fucking pee. Oh, yeah, I think we should be done already. I gotta pop a weasel. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Yeah. How much you need? Shit, we got coins and shit in it. If you gonna get cookies? Yeah. Oh, here, hold this real quick. I gotta fucking pee. Hold this real quick. What? What you want? Cookies. Here, go break the twenty. Fuck this shit. I don't care. Here. I can't hear it. Break the twenty. Bring my change back. <laughs> bring a little. Bring a little Kit Kat for Nevaeh. Ow, man. <laughs> okay, here myself right Bring here. a little Kit Kat for Nevaeh. y'all hey, hey let me tell y'all something real quick man money don't money don't mean shit to me man for real money don't don't make me happy or nothing or anything like that that's why y'all see y'all be seeing us that we be spending show my key at that we would be spending like heavy amounts of money and shit man because it's like that shit comes and goes and it is what it is you know what i mean <clears throat> it don't make me happy personally for real fuck i gotta fucking Dude, I gotta pop a weasel, y'all. <laughs> I gotta pop a weasel on everything. God damn. Damn. I gotta pop a weasel. My lady need to hurry up. But back to what I was saying. Money don't. Let me see. Let me get in the light real quick. See, this lights up in here suck ass. But man, money don't money don't make me happy, y'all. I'm telling y'all, don't make me really nothing. That's why I spend money. I don't give a fuck. Spend it, shit. Spend it. <coughs> yep. Here we go. All right, you got what you get. Yeah. Did you get the cookies? Yeah. Where is it? Right here. All right. You now I say get. I say get the Kit Kat, that way Nevaeh won't be crying right now. And there's some Halloween shit that I put in this seat. It's a Halloween bag or some shit. Oh, give it to me, I'm gonna show you some, something. What the <laughs> fuck did you buy? Here. Here. Oh, you got cookies, get what y'all want, I don't care. Oh y'all, just about to show y'all what the hell. What'd you get from the Halloween store? It's a lot. It's a big ass bag of shit. Yeah, for one little damn thing. What'd you get? Shot glasses? 
You got shot glasses? Yeah. Oh. Look, the Ouija board. Oh, shit. Let me see. Look. Shot glasses. This is Pennywise. The shot Ouija glasses. board. Uh, yeah. Halloween shit. And then Michael Myers. Yeah. That's tight. <laughs> and I just got me some socks. Oh, all right. And that's it. Oh. 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 Oh, you ain't gonna say the name, but yeah, I know who. Oh. Put this in my wallet, please. Oh, yeah, baby, they never ran the money on you, please. Huh? They never ran the money on you. I don't care about the money, nigga. That shit don't I make me happy. With this I don't. Yeah. Dude, I don't care about money. Fuck that. Fuck money. Don't don't buy me. It never brought me any kind of happiness. So I could um, just. Just rain, what? Rain on you? Run what? Raining on you. What do you mean raining on me? You ain't making no sense. The rain, they throw money at you. And so you can check your booty. What the <laughs> hell? You tripping, man. Y'all hear this shit? Y'all hear this shit, man? We about to go home. We go home already. Ruby, I can't, I can't raise the money on you. Let me tell you respectfully, I don't get down like that. And that's not my fucking... Gas, hell, it, yeah, I think it runs good. Yep. Yeah, babe, I don't get down like that, man. Not my kind of steelo. Nah, no, thank you. All right, it is the next day. I gotta talk to you guys about something. Some shit went down last night. This is like about uh, three in the morning. Um, I'm not gonna glamorize it or anything like that or whatever, but it was a situation where I, I was about to defend myself. You know what I'm saying? Okay, trip out. Last night I went to go. I went to go um, make quick make a quick round. The jack of the ass crack, jack of the box. And uh, as I was coming back home and everything, I know two three in the morning. Who ain't gonna be driving fast? There's no cops out, no traffic, no kids, no pedestrians, no nothing. It is just ghost town. So I was flying, hauling ass back. Um, now I'm not looking for no sympathy or whatever or anybody to take my side, but I'm just telling you the story of what happened. Okay, got back to the neighborhood where I live at. You know, I was driving pretty fast. You know, I was doing like 30. Residential uh, streets is 25, but a lot of us, we do 30. Uh, there's some people that be driving fast as fuck through the neighborhood during the damn day and shit. It was just that night, you know what I'm saying? And next thing you know, I heard somebody screaming, saying, slow the fuck down. Slow the fuck down before you kill somebody. And that's when I hurried up and I stopped and I slammed on the brakes. I'm like, fuck what? And that's why I looked in the mirror, a bunch of drunk asses acting stupid. I mean, slobbering drunk. Like, I mean, yeah, they had a little bit too much fucking alcohol and shit, man. And this is why I always say, control yourselves if y'all gonna be sipping and drinking and just doing y'all thing control yourselves know y'all limits and what's so crazy is that they try to tell me something but they over here drinking and driving yeah you y'all get what i'm saying they over here drinking and driving they, they under the influence of getting behind the wheel driving when they could possibly kill they damn selves or possibly kill someone out kill someone innocent out here on the streets so I got back to my house and everything, and um, you know I got my shit out. It, it was a drunk female, by the way, you guys. Just let you guys. I don't know what it. I don't know why I be getting targeted by drunk females. Drunk dudes know better not to try me, and I think it's a guy thing. Like we know not to try people if we're under the influence or if we're on some shit because we know we know as guys already what could possibly happen. We can either get our ass whooped, shot, stomped out, beat with a bottle. You know what I'm saying? Cause when you're under when you're under the influence, uh, you can't fight. I've seen drunk people fight before, and they look like a bunch of goddamn uh, preschoolers fucking uh, smacking the dog shit out of each other, bro. Like for real. So yeah, uh, us guys, we know not to not to try anything if we're under the influence with another person, rather if they're drunk or they're sober, because we know the potential consequences what comes with it. But this was a drunk woman last night. And it was a bunch of bunch of them. I was drunk. It was just just one particular drunk woman yelling and talking shit, being with the extras. And then and, and, and you know, I still buy my truck and everything. I had my shit. 
out out and ready to go and i made it be known like hey i'm like hey lady you better just calm down and relax and uh take your ass home because you don't want to go there with me you don't want to go there with me and that's when some drunk dude that was with them was all trying to like kind of apologize and everything i'm like nah i'm like nah don't don't apologize for for someone else's mistakes and you know she want to be tough she want to act like a dude okay not a problem i can treat you like a fucking dude and shit and that's when i have my shit out ready to go you feel what i'm saying i'm like uh-uh not tonight i'm not gonna allow these drunk asses to try to attack me they was gonna get sliced the hell up I i'm not playing with all y'all i told y'all how the way i am i'm gonna defend myself at all costs i'm gonna make sure that i make it back on that front of, of that front porch that front porch of the house where i live at and shit that is mandatory with me and I don't give a damn if you're drunk or you sober, if you're acting stupid around me, and if I feel like my life is in danger, my the safety of my lady and my kids is in danger, I'm gonna act on, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what my gut feeling says and shit. And you know, I was ready. I told that drunk lady on my head, get your ass home. You don't wanna go there, get your ass home. You're drunk. You know, you, you got them drunken balls, get home. Get home, because if she would've, she would've stepped foot in front of my face and laid one hand on me, she would have got she would have fucked around and found out all the asses would have fucked around and found out oh yeah it would have went down and what's so crazy is that i know that family down to, i know that family at the house that, that they was at next time i see them see their relatives at that house i'm gonna have a conversation with them and let them know like hey some of your relatives was drunk tripping and acting and acting acting out of act, acting out of pocket or whatever hey and they need to fucking step in and check the asses and shit because hey you guys i don't want to hurt nobody you know what i'm saying i don't want to hurt nobody I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't want to harm nobody. I don't want to do nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to defend myself at all costs. That's just how the way I get down. I'm a defensive individual. I'm a defensive individual. I'm not going to offend nobody. I'm going to defend myself, but I damn sure ain't going to offend nobody. So, yeah, that's what went down yesterday, y'all. I tried to sum it up as quick, quick as I can. But, yeah. Yeah, you guys, y'all be careful out here. And if y'all going to be drinking, smoking, whatever y'all do, turn up, have fun, enjoy yourselves. Don't be out here starting commotion. If you know that drugs and alcohol gets the best of you, my best advice is to either not do it at all or know your limits, man, because you know, shit could have went sideways last night and I would and I could you know, and they would have they would have they would have effed around and found out, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all, if y'all gonna be doing drugs and alcohol, drinking or whatever, control yourselves. That's the main reason why. I don't be sipping like that no more. I cut it down to one one time, once or twice a week, and that's it. That's it. And I'm to the point now where I got my people who I hang with and shit. They know who the fuck they are. They're probably watching this video too. But I'm not out here slobbering and drunk no more, acting the fool. I was damn. She got a fat ass. Um, I was never that kind of person. You feel me? Yeah, I'll get turned up, nigga. We gonna have fun or whatever. But I wasn't the kind of person to be out here harassing people fucking with people getting out getting them drunken balls and trying to talk shit to people and knowing that you're under the influence and shit because I, like i said before we're under the influence and us guys can relate to this shit we know better not to try nobody if we're under the influence because we can't fight when you're high or you faded you can't fight you can't fight you will easily get knocked down like they don't even got to sock your ass all they gotta do is push your ass to the ground and part you out like a light hell for real so yeah, that's what happened last night, y'all. Crazy. I don't know what it is, y'all. I do my best to try to avoid trouble as I can, but lately I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. A lot of shit just been coming my way, and you know I'm gonna act accordingly. I'm gonna defend myself, man. I'm gonna defend myself, and I'm gonna defend the people that surround me, man, for real. Cause at the end of the damn day, we trying to get back to that front porch. Serious shit. Hell yeah. Enjoy the rest of this video. Add on to this video too. I'm before I ended it and everything. Um, stop belitt stop b belittling each other. You know, I've I don't like that shit. You know, there's two sides to every story, and I don't get why people are like this today. Well, they've been like this probably even before I was born. It's like people be so quick to belittle a person instead of uh uplifting them and um giving them that good knowledge and giving them that good game, man. Now speaking on personal experiences and shit. You know, you guys try to change the narrative out here. So before you try, before you belittle somebody, you know, have that conversation with that person. You know, try to find out what's going on. Try to find out the other side of the story. Don't just don't be just don't be so quick to jump tail and 
belittle that person or judge that person or shame that person or, you know, or pull a nigga down and shit, man. Don't be like that. Trust me. Don't be like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I go through it in my personal life. Y'all don't even know. Y'all think I get a lot of hate and jealousy on the internet? My personal life is just off the peripheral chain. So that's why I'm speaking on this because there's been a few individuals in my personal life which, you know, they recently did some shit like that, you know, in a group in a group text message and shit and try to air a nigga out and everything. So that's why I'm speaking on that, y'all. Don't belitt don't stop belittling one another. Do your part to try to uplift each other and give each other that good knowledge and that good game, man, for real. Because that's more things that we do need. Because as soon as you belittle somebody or say foul words or do anything in that kind of nature, that just brings more drama. That brings more drama. And it's not gonna get no it's not gonna get nobody nowhere in life, man. For real. So try to uplift each other. Try to up bring each other, man. Stop with that belittling ish, man. Because because I hate that word. I hate these are the words that I hate. I hate, I can't, I hate. Stu I hate the word stupid. I don't like the word dumb. I don't like I don't like none of those words like that. Those words to me, and this is me telling you guys how the way I am. Those words are fighting words. If anyone calls me stupid, dumb, idiot, or any kind of foul name, I'm taking flight. It's no questions asked. I'm taking flight. We gonna need that. We gonna need to run that real quick. That's just how the way I am, man, for real. So you guys, to all y'all that's watching this right now, stop belittling each other. Try to uplift one another. Try to put that good knowledge, put that good game. You know, try to, you know, what I, you know what I'm saying? Don't be like, don't be like the people that's in my personal. That's that that. Don't be like the people in my personal life that are like that and shit. That's why, if y'all notice, you guys, I don't be around a lot of people. Oh, I'm solo bolo out here. You know, I got the individuals that's in my little tight circle or whatever. But outside of that, I don't fuck with a lot of people just for the simple fact that they're like that. Like, they be so quick to hate and belittle belittle people. And then don't even get me started about the ones that like to talk, that like to sit in a circle in a group and gossip and be some comadres talking trash behind people's backs and shit. But then in person, they want to smile and be all friendly and, and be all buddy buddy and everything. I don't like people like that, man. Y'all, that's another reason why I don't be around a lot of people. My lady gets mad because of the way I am. But it's like, I'm just not gonna surround myself around any any individual. I can read a person just based on the uh, just based on their personality and their characteristics and how the way they uh, how the way they get down and everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's why I move how the way I move out here. Yeah. For real, for real. That's why I move out the way I move out here. But anyway, enough talking, y'all. It's a beautiful day out here, man. Before I end this video, uh, what I want to say right now, too. Check it out. What I want to say right now. This ceramic, that ceramic stuff that I bought, that ceramic wipes, is doing a good job. Like, it's really starting to stand out now. Yeah, I just barely started paying attention to it and shit today. That ceramic stuff is really starting to stand out. I'm not even going to lie. Look at that. Look how good that shit looks. <laughs> How good that shit looks. Yep. Look at that. Yeah, shit's looking good, man. Hell yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it's looking good. That ceramic stuff did do a good job. So we'll see how long that lasts, y'all. We'll see how long that lasts. Anyway, uh, I'm about to get up out of here, y'all. I gotta get on with the rest of my day. Thank you guys once again. And um I will see you guys on the next video, man. Let's get it, y'all. Keep, like I said, stop belittling people, man. Y'all try to help, try to help up, uplift each, each other. Hey, each one teach one. Y'all remember that shit. I'm out of here. Deuces.